everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm doing a lot of stone uh, slate cutting. Uh, I'm working on the bathroom upstairs to get a slate around where the sink is going to go in. I was going to use this sink down here on the ground behind you. Uh, I found that just in the trash, but it never really fit into the space very well, so I ended up just buying one that just sets in on the surface, but it doesn't fill up the whole area, so what I'm going to be doing, like I said, is putting slate tile all around it, and also for the backsplash. I figured while I'm doing that, why not set the stone uh, cutting blade here into the table saw, and I'll do all the backsplashes for the kitchen as well, because by by the time we get the granite countertop, and I have to wait uh, until the granite countertop is in before I can put the backsplash in, by the time I get that granite uh, countertop, it's probably going to be into the winter, and I'm not going to want to be out here, uh, you know, cutting uh, that the stone in the middle of the winter. It's cold and uncomfortable and everything. Might as well get it all done now, stack it inside, and have it ready uh, to go when I get going. Uh, as you can see, I've got some PPE gear here, because when you're cutting rock, it can be pretty dangerous. It throws up all these little chips and things, so I've got the safety glasses, because you really feel them hitting on your face. I've got uh, the uh, uh, ear protection, because it, it makes some high-pitched noises that I think is certainly damaging to your ears. And I'm also wearing a respirator. And uh, while I understand, I did watch a, a YouTube video recently, that while it would seem that all this dust that this thing throws up, and you'll see in a moment when I cut, you're going to see how much dust it creates. While it might seem as though the dust is what's responsible for making you cough and choke and spit up black goo and have black mucus coming out of your nose and you know potentially have long-term health problems if you breathe in a lot of it, while that might seem to be the case, it's actually 5G cell towers that are located around me that are causing those things. And it's just a, a wild coincidence coincidence that those symptoms happen. Okay, I'm just making fun of people. Yes, uh, you don't want to be breathing in the rock dust, just like you don't want to be breathing in virus particles, uh, so I'm wearing the respirator uh, to prevent all that stuff. While I don all this stuff, I wanted to mention today is an auspicious day, and the reason for that is because today, at the time of the recording, is September 1st, and September 1st was the day that I started doing the carpentry on my last homestead. I started putting the sill plates right up here onto the concrete walls of the last homestead on September 1. And it's encouraging because even though it was September by the time I started, was able to start the carpentry, we were still able to get into the last house before you know, winter really set in. It was kind of Christmas time when we were finishing up. So it gives me a lot of hope that for this project, as you can see, we got a little bit of a head start over just doing the sill plates today. Uh, you know, there's a really good chance we're going to be able to get in before winter sets in. So without any more blabbing, I want to show you uh, why I'm wearing all this stuff uh, while I uh, cut one of these. Let's take uh, this guy right here. I'm cutting, they're a foot wide, I want to get two of them, so I'm cutting them at five and three quarters inches to make sure that I get two out of here. Let's see. <laughs> 